Now to a big election year, and tonight Representative John Curtis is officially running for Utah's open Senate seat. It's been widely suspected, and he's now confirmed that news exclusively to news specialist Lindsay Ertz. Lindsay, uh, Curtis considered this for quite some time. Yeah, Jeannie, he's been toying with it for months. It was back in September when he initially said, I'm seriously considering this four days later, penning an op-ed saying, nope, I'm out, I'm going to stay in CD3. Now telling me he's not changing his mind, he's officially in. We're going to jump into the Senate race. And when do you plan to file? We'll file tomorrow, January 3rd, first thing in the morning. And with that, Representative John Curtis is getting in to run for the Senate seat vacated by Mitt Romney. Curtis addressing what might feel like whiplash to voters. Back in late September, he was serious about a run. Then four days later, penned an op-ed saying he wouldn't. By November, he was teasing it again. There was a lot of pressure because my opponents were out gathering uh, endorsements and, and uh, funding from people who might otherwise support me. Uh, a lot of pressure, well, hey, you have to make this decision quickly. In that op-ed, Curtis wrote that leaving CD3 would be leaving a commitment unfulfilled to those he represents. And the very people who had made that commitment to were a lot of those voices who said, you can actually serve us better in the Senate than you can in the House. And so without that, I don't, I, I don't think I could have changed my mind. Curtis it's also saying his family or some of his loudest voices pushing for this. Curtis says he wants to take his work on energy and climate to a bigger platform. See, I think we've made some really important progress on that. At the same time, I'll tell you, I wouldn't leave if I felt like the work that I had done would drop. There are a slew of other Republicans running for Utah's open Senate seat. Those include Orrin Hatch's son, Brent Hatch, former House Speaker Brad Wilson, Riverton Mayor Trent Staggs, businessman Ron Byrd, Carolyn Fippen, Ty Jensen, and Josh Randall. Democrats also say they're running someone, but didn't make that name known. The move from Curtis sets off a cascade of shifting in Utah politics. It now leaves his CD3 seat open. State Senator Mike Kennedy is exploring a run for that seat. Another rumor named State Auditor John Dougal, who announced today he would seek re-election, but wouldn't comment on his future plans. Curtis hopes that Utahns think he's the right guy for Utah's Senate. People know that I'm not the guy that wakes up and tries to get on TV at night. I wake up and say, what can I do for the district? And I think people have really appreciated that. Now, guys, it is only day one of the filing deadline in Utah. By next Monday, we will know every single candidate in Utah that's running, not only in the uh, federal races, but the state races as well. So we'll be sure to keep you updated as candidates jump in. For now, reporting live, I'm Lindsay Ertz. Yeah, this is going to get interesting, Lindsay. Thank you.